what's up guys, Tommy Bowyer here from Movie Rewind and today we will be reviewing The Lego Movie 2, the second part, the sequel to the incredibly successful Lego Movie which was released in 2014. So without further ado, let's get into it. So in terms of character development, I actually like what they do with the majority of characters in this movie. In this movie it is all about the idea that not everything has to be dark and broody because at the start of this movie a lot of the characters are you know pretty dark and angry because they feel that they're being invaded however as the movie goes along you kind of be begin to understand that sometimes an optimistic attitude is a lot better than a pessimistic attitude attitude and it really really works in this movie i like what they do with the characters in this movie especially the main character emmett there is a great plot twist involving his character and the villain of this movie and I found that really good. I didn't actually see that coming. I was surprised I didn't see that coming. So in terms of character development, I'm going to give character development an 8 out of 10 because I really like what they did with the characters in this movie. The performances in this movie are also on point. Chris Pratt as Emmett I think is brilliant. I loved him in the first Lego movie. He's even better in this movie. He just has such a charm and innocence about it but you just can't help but like him i liked elizabeth banks portrayal of lucy in this movie i felt like lucy got a lot more character development in this movie so i really thought that she had more to do with her performance of the character and of course will arnett portraying batman let's just agree that will arnett should be up there with all the other batman actors because he is absolutely brilliant as this character and i love all of the Batman jokes that they have in this movie. There are so many Batman jokes and Will Arnett plays the character perfectly. So in terms of performances, I'm going to give performances an 8 out of 10. I really enjoyed the performances. I think all of them are pretty well cast for their roles and I hope to see more of them in the future. Now in terms of the effects, I can't really fault the effects and that's the thing about these Lego movies. Just the idea of being able to construct an entire movie using Lego and it was brilliant. Once again, they there's no flaws with the effects. All the special effects look really good. And I also like sometimes they'll subtly put in practical effects as well, like stock motion. And even that was pretty good, I have to say. So the effects gets a 10 out of 10. I can't really fault. There's not a lot to talk about because like the majority of Lego movies that have come out recently, the effects are at the top of their game. Now, as I have already stated, the story and writing in this movie is pretty good. There is a good plot twist in this movie, which I didn't actually see coming. And the thing is, they use a lot of the cliches. One thing they do in this movie is a, a villain song about a villain claiming that they're not a villain. Now, that's what you call subverting the cliche because it turns out that villain actually isn't a villain. And they say, what, we sung an entire song about I was not the villain, even though... Because you've seen the cliché so many times, they say they're not a villain and they turn out they are. It was brilliant. Subverting the cliché, it was brilliant. I really like the plot twist in this movie. The only problem I have with the writing in this movie is sometimes the pacing can be a bit dodgy. Not really any major problem. However, a couple of times in this movie, I felt that maybe the pacing was going too slow. And, you know, as this is genuinely a kids movie, kids sometimes have short attention spans, so they might lose interest in it a bit. However, it is minuscule. It's a minuscule issue. I don't see any other problems. I really enjoyed the plot twist in this movie. And to be honest, the story and writing is quite decent. So that's why story and writing gets an 8 out of 10. Now for the special recognition, I'm actually going to give my special recognition to the music in this movie. Now the Lego Movie 2... I understand that the Lego movie had some songs in it. It had Everything is Awesome, of course. However, with the Lego movie 2, they actually put a lot more songs in it. So it comes across as a bit of a musical. And the thing is, a lot of the songs are actually quite enjoyable. I've already spoken about the villain song, even though she's not the villain. And uh, also, there's also a catchy song. I'm not even joking. That's what it's called, catchy song. And... Yeah, it, it does kind of get inside your head and you do start kind of singing it in your head for, for, for a couple of hours after you've seen this movie. To be honest, I didn't mind the songs. I thought the songs were something different and the majority of them were actually pretty strong. So in terms of my special recognition, I'm going to give the music in this movie an 8 out of 10. To be honest, I really enjoyed the idea of music in this movie. I was a little unsure about it at first. However, it won me over in the end. And I like all of the songs in this movie. I think they're brilliant. 
So in conclusion, The Lego Movie 2, the second part, is an honourable sequel. It does everything that the first movie did, and it also does something different, so you don't feel like you're seeing the first movie twice. The performances are really good, and the effects are outstanding. And that is why The Lego Movie 2, the second part, gets a well-deserved 42 out of 50, which gives it a grade 2 ranking. Honestly, I really enjoyed this movie, and I don't see why it's struggling at the box office. So thanks for watching guys, I really do hope that you enjoyed my Lego Movie 2 movie review. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe in order to receive great and maybe even improved content in the future. However, I am going to be away for two weeks, I'm not going to be back until early March so there won't be any videos out in then even though I'm going to miss the casualty and Holby City crossover which I'm really annoyed I'm going to miss that. However, once I get back I'm going to do mini reviews for all of them as well as get back to doing proper reviews for movies. So I will see you when I get back. See ya!